Okay, open up your browser. Um, start typing in ASCOM, A-C-S-O-M. Enter. Scroll down until you find ASCOM standards for astronomy. Open this. Go over to the right and download the latest ASCOM platform. You're going to need it. It's a requirement. Download, install, come back to this page, go to the drivers and plugins, go to over to the left side, telescope slash mount. Scroll down until you find the Explore Scientific PMC-8 mount controller driver. Click visit the site. Here we're going to scroll down and we're going to come across first and foremost the PMC-8 Configuration Manager version 1.0.3. Go ahead and download that, but let's not run it just yet. So keep scrolling down until you see Click here to download the 32-bit CPU ASCOM driver. You're going to need that to install the driver for your mount. So go ahead, download that, click Run, Install. Shortly here, I'm going to come back and we'll kind of walk through this and show you how to get to, uh, at least get on that track of getting your mount wired. So be back. Then once you get it, then when you get it opened up, you'll be seeing this screen here. Go over to the connection part, select the mount from your drop-down menu here. You have to be plugged in. Your mount needs to be plugged into your laptop before you can go any further with this. So you need a micro USB cable I was pretty sure that's what it is so when you connect your turn your mount on you'll be connected to Wi-Fi and go down to the setting here and that finds your mount your mounts Wi-Fi and click connect so you'll be sitting there it's going to be trying to run on it'll be running on Wi-Fi Yeah, then you'll get this won't be down here anymore when you do that also find here see mine is not highlighted but there should be a communication port listed in here if there's not um, usually once you plug the mount in right away it's going to pop up as COM3 typically so once that's in there, you can just click on do it. It'll find its current connection. When you want it to go to the wired, you click on this one when this highlights. Click do it. Sit back for a couple seconds. It's going to do its business and you'll get messages down here saying that it is successful. That is all you need to do to get it to run wired. Okay, well... Once you downloaded the ASCOM drivers, um, the ASCOM platform, go into your start menu, find ASCOM platform 6. You want to scroll all the way down until you find the path, scope, dome hub. You open that. You're going to get to this little box here. Click on setup. Come up in here and click setup. It's not going to let me do it because I don't have the drivers installed, but this is just me trying to show you. And another window is going to open up and you'll have to choose your the IEXOS 100 mount from a drop down list. Enables um, serial. Enter your long, latitude and longitude. You can do it in the box that opens up also. Uh, and that should be basically it. Um, by that point, once you're done, click OK. This little box will open up. And if you ran that configuration manager, you should be up and running right now. And all of these will be filled in because your mount should still be connected to your computer. 
that is really all there is to it. Okay, and that is basically it. That should get you up and running doing what you want to do with the mount. So, just a quick recap. Download the ASCOM platform drivers. The ASCOM, the ASCOM platform. Download the mount drivers and download the configuration manager. Once you have those downloaded, install them. It doesn't really matter what way you download them or install them. Just make sure that you got them all installed. Now, when you go to connect your mount, just power it up, open up your laptop, find it in your available Wi-Fi, connect to it, and chill for just a second. Grab a micro USB cable, plug it into the mount, plug it into your laptop. Your laptop should recognize it as being there. That's where you have to choose the COM3, COM2, COM1, whichever one it's going to designate it as. If it does not, read it. You can find a generic serial port communicator, or yeah, communication port driver, generic one, anywhere on the net. Download it, install it, and then start over again. And just, you know, start from turning on your mount, all that good stuff. And then just go through and hit, you know, just select the mount from that drop down list. And you hit the uh, what port, hit that, and it should pop up at that point. If not, you're going to have to keep trying to find that right driver. That's the first time I encountered it. That's the first time I started running into my problems was right there. Um, it was not recognizing my mount. But most of these newer computers laptops will read it so you should be fine once you connect and hit the do it to find its current connection first because the rest of the rest of those options won't be highlighted and right along the bottom there'll be that message center it'll tell you how it's connected at that point then the next then the next two should open up as, as available options you want the one that says connect serial click on that wait a couple seconds and along the bottom it'll tell you if it was successful or not you might have to do it a couple of times um, please bear with me it's been almost a year since I've had to do that but it finally connected once you're connected that way then you can download any software out there that will help control your mount I highly highly recommend Astro Photography Tool or APT and getting that to recognize your mount is very simple all of the uh, directions are there it's very simple then you can control your mount and take your pictures take your video if you're doing the moons and planets and all that good stuff but other than that I mean once everything falls into place you should be up and running in a matter of about 15 minutes doing it wired if you have any questions, any comments, um, if I went over something too quickly, just, you know, down in the comments section, just say something. Say, hey, man, something didn't quite work, or where do I go for that? How, do, how did you do this? It's all good. I'm doing this because there's just nothing out there to help anybody with this mount. So I'm trying to give you guys my knowledge, and hopefully by following along and seeing what I've done, you can just simply go, hey, that's cool, plug it in, 15 minutes later, you're connected wired. And you're not worrying about messing around with Wi-Fi anymore. So that's all I've got. That's how it is. That's what it is. And I wish you all clear skies. And until the next time, I'm Dave. See you later.